Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to discuss the B-17's oil system. Uh, just as a note, each one of my videos uh, is presented in this format. And if you want copies of these pages, they are available. So look in the video description. You'll see a, a link to my, my Google Drive. And you can download, you can print, you can view directly from that drive. So all, that, all, that inf all this information is going to be available to you guys. So... Um, each one of the engines on the B-17, and, and recall in my engine video, these are Wright Cyclone R1820 engines. They've got nine cylinders, 1,200 horsepower. You know, they generate a lot of heat, and, and the oil system is one way to uh, dissipate some of that heat. So they each have a 37-gallon oil reservoir. So the oil reservoir is shown here highlighted. This is for engine number two. Engine number two, uh, this, this oil tank is exposed when the airplane's on the ground because this is the main gear wheel well for uh, you know, the, 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 the port strut. So with the airplane on the ground, you can poke your head in here and actually see this 37 gallon reservoir. Like the fuel tanks, the oil tanks are, are self-sealing, and you can see my video on self-sealing fuel tanks uh, in that, that particular discussion. So the oil system has several functions. Uh, mainly, it's just to provide a lubrication uh, for the wear surfaces on the engine. Lots of moving parts. Uh, we want to minimize the, the mechanical wear of the surfaces scrubbing against each other, you know, and the bearings and the other things. So, so the oil is going to be that lubrication system. It's also going to be used as a coolant to transfer heat away from the engine. So these are air-cooled engines, but the, um, the uh, oil is going to be used to help transfer some of that heat. So we need, we need an oil reservoir if, if that's a particular case. So if we look at the leading edge of the wing of the B-17, we'll see that each engine has three ram air scoops. Uh, one of the ram air scoops is, is the oil cooler, and you can see it here in the schematic. So recall also that the airplane travels in a combat mission at about 240 miles an hour at 30,000 feet. The outside air temperature is about minus 50 degrees, 50, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So that air is making contact with this oil cool radiator at you know, 240 miles an hour. Uh, at about minus 50, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so that's a good, uh, that'll make a good cooling medium for this, this uh, oil radiator. So the oil system is also used kind of like as a hydraulic fluid. It's used to help operate the supercharger and the oil is used in the uh, propeller pitch and propeller uh, feathering mechanism. The oil itself has uh, two different grades if it's normal weather or cold weather. It's roughly equivalent to a modern SAE 60 weight. And the oil is going to operate with a pressure between 65 and 75 PSI. And the optimal temperature for the oil to operate is between 60 and 88 degrees centigrade. So I hope you've enjoyed the video.